Hi, welcome to Kitchen Chemistry with Essential Wholesale and Labs. Today I'm going to be showing you different equipment we use here at Essential Wholesale in our lab and in our videos. So let's get started. Um, the first piece of equipment I want to show you is the Atom Scale. So this scale is a professional bench scale. So it's the scale that you want to use when you're ready to um, really take your business to the next level and um, accurately measure every ingredient. Kitchen scales are okay, but they really can't get the precision that uh, the scale can get. So the model is an Atom EBL 4602E scale. And of course, we'll put links into the description of this video, but um, that's the type of scale that we use in our lab. It's very easy to use, many different units of measure. It will measure um, down to 0 0.01 grams, so you can get really accurate with your measurements with the scale. It's self-calibrating, and um, it's, it's our standard scale that we use. So let's move on, get this out of the way. So the next piece of equipment I want to show you is um, the stick blender that we use. This is an all-clad stainless steel stick blender. Uh, it is the K. 2750D immersion blender if you're trying to find it online. Uh, there's a few reasons that we really like this one. It's powerful. It has a turbo button so when your emulsions are getting rather thick you can turbo and really break down those micelles and get a nice white cream and, or a lotion um, which is really great. Uh, it also has um, on the dial it has uh, adjustable speed. So it's more than just one speed. You can actually dial into the speed that you need for your particular project. Uh, very easy to take apart and clean. Um, my, only, my only caution with this particular blender is uh, when you're using oils, make sure, and of course for your product too, and for the integrity of the oils, you don't want to overheat the oils. Um, it would seem that uh, temperatures in excess of 200 degrees tend to break down the seals on this. Uh, All Clad is pretty good about replacing parts under warranty, but um, it's kind of a bummer when you're making something and the seal breaks and then all of a sudden your product is in the motor of the, of the blender and leaking oil into your product. So you have to start over. So um, just be aware of that, like over 200 degrees, this, this blender will, uh, it, I won't say it will fail, but it uh, has the possibility of the seals breaking and causing you to some heartache there. So let's get this one out of the way. Okay, some of the other equipment we use. So we have a, um, a food processor here, uh, just a simple KitchenAid. Um, this is great for grinding up your herbs, um, fresh flowers, or any other dried material that you want to put in there into your products. Um, very easy to use. Uh, really probably any um, food processor would work, but this is the one that we chose. We kind of like the KitchenAid brand. And moving on, so your KitchenAid blender. Um, this one is great for whipping up butters. Uh, we, of course, it's a KitchenAid. It's a five-speed blender. Pretty easy to use. Um, it's not super powerful, so if you have uh, bigger projects that you want to do or a larger batch of whipped butter that you want to do, you probably want to go and buy an industrial mixer, um, which you can find at most restaurant supply stores. So we'll get this one out of the way. Okay, so now some of the other fun equipment. Uh, I've had questions about um, when I strain things, what I use exactly. So I'm gonna start with our, our strainer. I tend to uh, choose things that I know that can be cleaned and um, sanitized. So I chose uh, a stainless steel sieve. Um, and I like the two prongs because you can easily place it on your bowl and it's nice and sturdy. Um, they make ones with one prong that uh, tend to tip over uh, if you try to fill them too quickly. So I like the sturdiness of this one in particular. Um, and the coffee filters. Uh, they are made for industrial coffee pots. You can buy them at any restaurant supply or cash and carry store. Same with the stainless steel sieve. Or of course online. Um, so this is kind of the method that we use for straining um, when we are making extracts or tinctures. At least in the lab. So. Um, next, okay, so these are so handy to use when you're making product. Uh, these are the standard beakers that we use. Um, we have a uh, four cup or a 600 milliliter and a 400 milliliter. Um, and these are 
absolutely indispensable when you're making stuff in the lab. They can go directly onto your hot plate um, or stovetop uh, to heat product up. And um, it's very easy to use your, your stick blender, as you can see, in the four cup size. It actually is, uh, is pretty nice to use. So if you're making a test batch or a small, um, a small batch, this is, this is absolutely the best way to go, in my opinion. Um, and of course, you can buy these uh, at any lab supply place or online. And again, we'll put links to all of these, these uh, wonderful pieces of equipment in the description. Um, let's see, some other things that we use. This is kind of a cool one. It's from Ikea. It's simply a trivet. It's, it feels kind of rubbery, but it's also magnetic. So it's kind of cool because if you use a stainless steel workbench, um, you can place it on the bench and it's not going to go anywhere. So if you have something that you're mixing, you can put your beaker right on there and it's not going to move around while you're mixing. It's very handy to have that. Uh, beakers tend to want to spin as you're mixing with them, so um, having a trivet to keep it in place really helps. Uh, something else we use are these super cool way boats. Um, this is a nice way to pre-measure out your ingredients. They make them in small, medium, and large. This is the medium size. Um, they're washable and reusable. Uh, or if you have something in there and you just simply don't want to wash it out, you can dispose of it. But we tend to wash them and reuse them. Um, finally, so hot plates. These, um, this is really handy. If you don't have an electric stove top, uh, to heat your um, ingredients um, when making emulsions or whatever product you're making. This is very easy um, to use. Uh, they make single burners as well. I kind of like the double burners because you have your oil phase and water phase that you can work with um, right on the same hot plate. Uh, this is also great if you have a workspace, let's say, uh, where you don't have a stove at all. This is a, a great solution. Um, you can always microwave stuff, but I, I tend to like to use the old-fashioned method of heating it up rather than microwaving. And, um, and a couple other pieces of equipment that are kind of cool. Uh, this um, soap loaf cutter or dough cutter uh, is really handy for cutting butters. Uh, some of the butters tend to be really hard, and this is a nice way, instead of grabbing that giant butcher knife from the kitchen, this is a nice way to get the amount of butter you need and be able to use the force that you need without worrying about, you know, your fingers being in the way or the knife slipping. So we really like these loaf cutters. Uh, these measuring spoons are kind of neat. Um, if you have really small amounts that you need to measure and you aren't using, a professional scale, but you know how much you need. It goes down to 1 64th of a teaspoon, uh, which makes it very handy if you're doing the math on measuring ingredients out and you want to figure out, you know, you figure it out and it turns out that you need, you know, a smidge or a 1 32nd of a teaspoon, you have that measurement handy. So another indispensable piece of equipment, a long spoon or stir stick. I bought this as a, um, this is one of those uh, tea stirs that you can buy on Amazon. Um, there's also lab spatulas is what they call them, uh, which we use in the, lab, in the lab that are about the same length. So um, seven, seven to nine inches is a good length. Um, you can see that it fits in your beaker nicely. So when you're mixing things, it's nice and easy. So there we go. Those are the pieces of equipment that we tend to use here um, in our videos and some in our lab. And uh, you'll find links to all of these uh, different pieces of equipment in the description of this video by clicking on the more button. Thanks for joining us.